here it is, the Bussy Combat F-16. First, let's start with a little bit of information on this guy. So, this is when it was first announced right here, Bussy Combat F-16. So, it, it came quite a while ago, and uh, you had to put your orders in. Like, your opportunity for orders is very small. Here's some of the uh, specs here, 16 inches long, ooh. Got the steel infinity, hardness, F8 to 60RC. <laughs> Coding, coded or competition finish. You got to choose. I went with the uh, competition finish because it's gorgeous. Here's a discount that you get for ordering through them. The blade coding options. This is um, this is not competition finish. That this means if you go uh, the coding options, you could choose any of those. Handle options. Now this is the cool thing. You got to go to the nuclear option here, and this is the option I actually went with. As you can see. You can choose either coded or comp finish with it. You get a discount by choosing it. This is the this is the only interesting thing that makes this crazy is uh you don't get to choose your handle, but it comes with a bussy uh custom logo on it, so it's technically a custom knife. But this is the cool thing, look, you get way more options. Way more options. Well, not options. You get uh you get more uh more things that can come to you if you go to this option. Then let's take a gander at the uh, the first ones here guys. So this is what it looks like right out. This is like the beta knife right here. It's beautiful. That's comp finish I believe. The handle, the thickness. Gorgeous. Gorgeous blade. Coated. And uh, there you go. So let's get to this guy. So to open this I'm gonna use a uh, Sarge 7. It just feels like it makes sense. Oh, it's such a beautiful blade. And let's get at it. Here, just cut through that cardboard. This knife is meant for much more greater things. This is my standard bussy knife right here, the Sarge 7. I got this a while ago. I really like this knife. It's what I usually carry with me. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Got some uh, paper. Sheath. It does come with a sheath. This is the blade. And then there is absolutely nothing else in here. So let's get rid of this box. First, let's uh, just adjust this a little bit here. Let's see what the sheath looks like. I think you're able to go, you're able to buy a leather sheath uh, through them that. They work with a guy that makes them. Apparently, he does a really good job. I don't honestly know. I've never. So this is what it looks like right here. Let's take a hard look at this bad boy. I mean, it's okay. It's right here for your belt. I like the Kydex a lot more. A lot more than this. But it's leather, so it's legit. It smells like leather. Let's put some light on. So, uh, it's right here. Watch this. There we go. Look at that. Let there be light. So, we'll put this to the side now. And we'll open up the baby itself. A little piece of tape there. I hope it tells me who inspected it. I love when they do that. Like, inspected by so and so Jerry. Jerry himself inspected this blade. <laughs> Look. So they tested the sharpness already for me. That's cute. Interesting. So I got a green blade. 
that was my, uh, I don't mind it though, I'm digging it. So you got like silver right here, and then it goes into like a green. Feels really good, feels really good. Now it's just getting this off of here. Is this a blade I'm going to use? I don't know. I have the Battle Mistress as well that I've never used. It was their anniversary collection. I got number nine on that. I've never used that one, but that's a that's just an insanely big blade. Like I don't know what I would use it for. The Sarge Seven carries every does everything I need it to, and then I have the um, the Rodent Rocky, which you know pretty much a machete. Let's see. Ooh, beautiful. So let's, oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Let's get a good look at this guy right here. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Everything you could hope for. Nice thick blade. It's not too heavy either. It really is not. side here, you kind of get the, uh, the combat here, custom, the pussy custom shop, got the troll right down here, and this is the, this is my nuclear right here, I got the green, I like it, I think it's great, um, what would you use this for, you use it for anything, cutting a coconut, cutting some flesh open, maybe even you know, going at a piece of paper depends on what how you're feeling. If you're feeling really good, go for it. Let's uh, let's see. Oh man, you guys can't even see. Sorry. Cuts really well. Now let's uh, put it in the sheath here. I think the sheath sucks. I'm gonna be honest. This sheath is uh I'm glad it's leather, it's cool. It just does not it does not give that tight fit that I, I really like. I don't know. Maybe I will like it eventually. Like look at this. So it goes in far enough here. Where's the blade end? Let's see. Goes to the goes to the very end. I can feel it. It just doesn't look good. Like, look at this. Look at this Kydex right here. Like, I could just pop it out with one finger and then throw the sheath if I have to. This one, this one's a little bit more involved. Maybe it will catch the oils better, you know, when you use oil to get this bad boy down and dirty. And it will make it, I don't know. Just trying to think of the positives. I like it to an extent. Like, it's thick leather. It has a leather smell to it. But it is not a Kydex. Anyways, that's my uh, that's my blade there. That's my blade there, guys. Let's uh, do one more look. I'll unsheath it for you. The full blade there. It's good weight. I feel like you could really chop out a tree with this, kind of like the Rodent Rocky, but would you want to? It is Infinity Steel, though, unlike the Rodent Rocky, which is a different steel. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gives you an idea of how the nuclear option works. And if you guys got your own nuclear option, show me. Link me. I, I would lo I'd love to see it. Again, here's the handle, for because uh, this, is, this is pretty much what you're getting, is this handle, the nuclear option. And that's fine. Anyways, you have a good day, everybody, and I'll uh, talk to you later.